Good day and welcome to Health Tech Weekly, the show on technology that helps create a healthier you. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the pod medic. Before we get into this week's health tech item, I want to make sure you head over to our site at htweekly.com for links to everything covered in this episode, contact information, and a whole lot more. So check out the website now. In this episode of Health Tech Weekly, I wanted to look at a new USB bladder scanner that recently received FDA approval. Ooh, really? A bladder scanner? Yeah, a bladder scanner. I know it seems kind of gross, but the part I wanted to pay attention to is the USB part of it. Vitacon, a company out of Trondheim, Norway, that was founded in 1985, has been producing bladder scanning ultrasound devices for some time. The advent of the USB-based system is important because it can work with any Windows-based computer with a USB port. And the installed software helps to bring this information to the healthcare professional. This brings the bladder scanning tool into a much more affordable target marketplace, including smaller and rural health centers and the home healthcare arena. As the population continues to age, bladder dysfunction will continue to be a growing problem, and the VitaScan LT USB system joins many other basic diagnostic tools, formerly limited to hospital and specialist use, into the home healthcare and primary care systems. As we continue to focus on healthcare reform and cost reduction here in the U.S., diagnostic and assessment tools like this and those attached to mobile applications will continue to be popular options for those who previously had to order diagnostic tests in outpatient or specialist settings just to rule out problems that could be easily diagnosed with a portable scanning system just like this one. Look for more information and coverage on these types of tools moving forward so you can recognize the tools your healthcare professionals are using to assess you. If you want to watch the full VitaScan video, check out their website at vitacon.com. That's V-I-T-A-C-O-N.com. You can also follow this and other health tech updates like this one I found at medgadget.com. And that's going to wrap up this week's episode of Health Tech Weekly. I'm your host, Jamie Davis, the pod medic. I'll be back again soon with another episode here of the Health Tech Weekly show. In the meantime, make sure you head over and check out all of the information and links from this episode, as well as all of our other episodes and subscription information, how you can subscribe for free in iTunes and other ways on your mobile apps and a whole lot more. You can find all of that over at htweekly.com. You get there, there's a show notes link at the top of the page, there's a lot of other information there, and there are other articles posted throughout the course of the week, all available for you on the HT Weekly website, so make sure you head over there. If you'd like to get back in touch with me, perhaps you have a comment about an episode or you'd like to make a suggestion for a future episode, maybe you have a link to an article on another health tech item. Make sure you send those in to me here to podmedic at mac.com. I love to hear from you and I do respond back to each and every email that comes in. So make sure you keep those emails coming. That's it, we're gonna go ahead and close out this episode. I do wanna remind you that the road to a healthier you comes with small, purposeful steps. So I encourage you to take a step towards a healthier you today. I'll be back soon. In the meantime, stay safe and stay tuned here to Health Tech Weekly.